Hello everybody and welcome back to Isaac. We are showcasing Edith today. This is technically a new character. Now, I know that some of you may have seen this character before. For anyone that needs the backstory, essentially this was a character that was like a secret character in Anti-Birth that was going to be added to Repentance but never was. It has been made into a modded character a few times now, but this is a new one that's just come out of the Steam Workshop that uses Repentagon and has some unique abilities that are different to some of the others and some more sort of interesting movements. So the, the way that Edith works is she is a statue and you cannot shoot while moving at all, which is very, very interesting. But we do have the ability to jump on the enemy's heads and we also have the ability to slam. So we've got a few different things in our moveset here. There's also some custom synergies with her as well. It seems pretty interesting, but kind of a challenge character. I don't expect to win on our first try here, but we're going to give it a go and see sort of just how things go. So let's see how good the slam is. Okay, the slam does not destroy rocks, which is good to know. Oh my god, not getting hit is going to be really hard. Honestly, just getting over the muscle memory is going to be the hardest bit here. Uh, plus three golden hearts, 10% chance to get golden pickups. When you lose a golden heart, turn everything into gold and applies magic touch to all enemies in the room. Curse effect, 100% um, chance to get golden pickups. All food related items turn into coins if you try to pick them up. Um, oh, kind of interesting. I like the idea. It seems it seems pretty good. Oh, also, look how cute we look. look this is amazing. So, yeah, certain... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, my God. The, you, you have to, like, really play the jumping with certain enemies. But certain rooms are going to be really, really hard. I mean, this character probably isn't designed with fiend folio enemies in mind at all. So, just be aware of that. But I, I think I did a pretty good job, though. Get yourself a golden key. Um, oh, dude, so this is kind of crazy. Everything's just gold. Like, literally all of our drops are going to be gold. This seems wild. I do like jumping around everywhere. Now, apparently I can Goomba Stomp. Yeah, there you go. Uh, it's a little bit hard to do. Oh, you jump as well. Oh, oopsie. I mean, we did manage to Midas Touch everything. Oh, my God. Not being able to walk around here is awful. We do get a golden pill, though. We'll see what we can do with that. Oh, not much at all, apparently. But yeah, we can Goomba Stomp enemies. It's it's a little tough. You can see that I just did it there. Uh, I do like the fact that that's a, a, something we can do. Do you know what would be good? Having more iframes when we uh, when we do our Goomba Stomp. Because we get a few iframes here, but not a lot. <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. Unfortunately, getting a golden key doesn't actually give us any keys. Okay, so let's see where we can line ourselves up here. I really, I find this very interesting. This is definitely a huge challenge. There's a lot to work out here, but I think having this jump, which I think is new to this version of Edith, I don't think I've seen this before. I think that's really helping out. And the movement seems really smooth as well. Normally, when people make this character, they do some sort of teleport-based movement, which I don't think really works as well. We can, like, stop and shoot very briefly. It's enemies that have creep that I'm a bit worried about at the minute. Oh, the iframes do kind of help with it, though. Okay. The, the, the slam's kind of hard to get exactly right, to be honest. There you go. Enemies that chase us aren't so bad. Yeah, getting the slam right is like, the, the range on it is like really difficult. I'm trying to use this little enemy here as a sort of test bed to try and get the slam right. There you go. These enemies here we ought to be slamming. I like it. Dude, so many golden keys. Give me a golden bomb, please. I, could, I, I guess I could go buy one. Ooh, that dodge. This is really intriguing. I'm liking it a lot. This is definitely the most interesting version of Edith I've seen. I don't think I've played many of the versions of Edith, to be honest. Because I've always found it to be... Oh, kind of jumped into a pit there. I've always found it to be kind of like a weird character trait to not be able to move properly. But this works pretty well. Does speed matter to us much? I guess it's like how fast we hippity hop. I guess that's kind of useful. Uh, also, can we... Yes, we can. Lovely. Okay. If I don't get a bomb, I am going to buy that golden bomb. Because there's a lot of things to bomb on this floor. Uh, I'm going to see if I actually get a regular bomb first, though. Now, this is a room that I am not best pleased about. There is a lot going on in here. Luckily, we're okay on that front there. 
Now, should I slam into here? <laughs> Probably not, but I'm going to anyways. It worked out for the best. Oh, man. I love it. I'm really, really liking this character. Really, really liking this character. As for my question of the day, what's some cut content from a game that you might have played that you really enjoy? Oh, dude, there's Mysterious Gift here as well. This is kind of annoying because I'd love to have Mysterious Gift and the Golden Bomb, but I don't think we're able to get both. I'm going to go do my boss first just in case I get Matchbook, which is unlikely. Ooh, I've got an idea. Uh, can I... Yes, I can. Okay, unfortunately, it was absolutely useless. Okay, I need to be just at the right angle to do this. Oh my god, this is going to be a pain in the ass, isn't it? Need to be, like, just here. There you go. Okay. The fact that you can cheese curse rooms is, is very, very nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, I'm going to do the, the boss room first. I wonder if there's any synergies where my hippity hop will do like a shockwave. If I get like Leo or Terra or something, will it do like a... Um, just hold up. Debug 10? No? I didn't have Debug 10 on there, so I'm not quite sure what happened. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Unfortunately, we got a pretty bad item here. I think I'm going to go back and grab the, uh, grab the golden bomb and see what else we can get. Because I want to, I want to find my secret rooms and stuff here. Oh, uh, the hippity hops feel so smooth. I love them. Bomb you. Oh, wow. That was amazing. Thank you. I like the fact that I can jump on top of rocks like that as well. That's really nice. I'm just trying to think what other synergies could exist for this, because there's, there's probably quite a few out there that could be kind of interesting. I should probably try and find the crawl space as well, but I'm really bad at finding crawl spaces, so I'm not going to worry about it if I don't find it. A little bit of extra money. Could get Mysterious Gift here. A uh, secret room. Second secret room, at least. Um... And we get some potentially pretty good stuff here. I guess I'll be taking this for now. Um, actually, to be fair, let's hold on to this one. The Porky Ally I really don't care about, unfortunately, for, for that. Okay. Oh, really? Give me all those spiders. That's a lot of spiders, game. At least we should be able to look forward to Mysterious Gift now. And we got a Miser Heart as well, which I think makes things cheaper, right? If I remember correctly. There's some pennies. Good, good, good. Got another golden heart there. Right, where's regular secret room? This is the question that I have right now. Okay, there you go. We do have golden keys, so we can open these. Oh, golden troll bomb. Oh, we got a golden bomb anyways there. I kind of forgot that if all things are gold, golden troll bombs will be uh, a plenty as well. Oh, we get golden trinkets as well. It's a really, really good trinket. I keep getting this trinket, actually. It's pretty common for me. Um, very, very happy with it, though. Very, very happy with it, indeed. Now, we do have a soul of Isaac here that we can use on our mysterious gift item uh, from the secret room and see if we can get something good. We shall see. Even if it's a good item, unless it's, like, insane, I'm probably going to use soul of Isaac anyways to see if what we get is any better. Because we do have another reroll item that I want to take with me. Boom, bow. Go, go, go. I love our little sparklies here. Right, pop this in here. Yeah, that's definitely Soul of Isaac worthy. Vanishing Twin is... I don't know. Vanishing Twin's definitely more deadly, so I'm going to take it. I don't know why the boss Insta died, though. That's, that's, that's my only big question right now. Is that just a feature of this character? Do bosses just instantly die? Wow, some tears. Actually, tears isn't bad. Tears isn't bad. I thought it was shot speeds. I went wow really sarcastically for a minute there. Okay. Let's keep this going. We've actually got to fight enemies again here. Oh my god. Not shoot moving and uh, shooting at the same time is just so natural. It's so hard to get out of the habit of. 
Yeah, the, the, the fire's gonna help a ton, by the way. 66% chance of any enemy dying creating a fire from Red Candle is insanely good for us. <laughs> oh, the tr golden troll bombs. You know, golden troll bomb, I might be able to utilize you. I'm very interested by this, this golden item. Don't do that, that's not what I meant to do. I'm trying to push it, but pushing it's very, very difficult when I can't fucking move. No, <laughs> this is so difficult. No, stop doing that. Just shoot. I keep accidentally double tapping rather. It's double tap to jump and I keep accidentally double tapping. Come on, troll bomb. You don't have to be this way. No, stop jumping. Oh my god. Just fire. How are you such a biatch? Come on. There you go. It took us a while, but we got there in the end. We can't even open it, but we'll get a golden key at some point, I'm sure. Oh my god, get out of the way of that. Again, we can come back to the shop later, hopefully. I love the fact that I can kind of stand still. Shoot an enemy and then hippity hop over them to like change my line of sight and make sure I don't get hit as easily. I think it works really well. Oh my god. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. I'm getting uh, spiders on room clear here and I'm not quite sure why. Oh, that was a perfect jump right there. Damn it. No, I can't quite get him. There you go. <laughs> it takes a bit of doing, but we got there in the end. Nah, I want my Soul of Eden. Thank you. Now, this is going to be a slightly more annoying room. See, we just need golden bombs all the time, so we can just shoot, uh, like, drop golden bombs on all the enemies. That'd make life easier for us, wouldn't it? There you go. Got you. There's going to be all sorts of little creepy crawlies here. I'm going to try and take out these guys now. Yeah, the slam's working reasonably well here. Do you know what would be really decent, potentially? Nord Leaf. Nord Leaf could be really good with this character if you get a, a nice little orbital going. Euphoria. Euphoria would be really, really good. Firing in one direction increases our fire rate. We're going to often be firing in one direction, so I think that could work really well. I'm just going to leave this room to do its thing for now. Come on, you... Spider. Why gotta be this way? Okay. And then we got a few more boys as well. Oh, god damn it. I mean, money's coming in nice and fast, but unfortunately, thus far, we are getting not much else. No keys, no bombs. Oh, I do not like this enemy chasing us. Oh, beautiful. The slams. I'm getting good at them now. I'm getting good at them. I'm getting the, the range down. Look at that beauty. Hey, there's a golden bomb. Huzzah, huzzah. Um, I think I'm just going to go do the boss now that I've got golden bombs. I'm a bit more confident. But then again, the boss might just instantly die. Oh, that was really stupid of me. There you go. <laughs> golden bombs make that easy. Tears and some HP is kind of nice. Can I have red hearts? I can have red hearts. Good to know. Um, didn't feel the need to reroll either of those. Right, let's keep scooting along. Our speed's looking pretty good right now. Let's try and find secret room while we're at it here. Probably here. Yeah. I thought so, and there's some golden keys. Some pennies there. Pandora's box, um... Yeah, I think I think next floor would be pretty good to use that, or maybe floor after. Let me grab that. Still haven't seen our item room yet. Let's try and go back and find that. I'm so glad we got some increased speed here. It's very, very nice. Don't even need to grab the golden keys, really. It's not doing anything for us. Where are you at? Oh, that was kind of close. Having the speed is super, super nice. Why am I getting spiders after every room? Is that something to do with my miserly heart or something? There you go. Look at the fires helping out. Beautiful. I think, I think I'd think i be pretty happy with Mum's knife. 
Now, I can charge Mum's knife while I'm moving. I just can't release it until I stop moving. That's pretty good. Okay, I wasn't expecting Mum's knife here, but it's been a while, so I'm happy with it. Don't need the golden bomb. What am I trying to do? Nice. This is a good run. <laughs> we got all this um, Midas Touch stuff going on, and then we've got a lovely little Mum's knife here. Which, yeah, it can, can still charge even when you're moving, which is really, really nice. You just can uh, fire it until you stop moving. You also, I think when you're charging, yeah, you, you can't do a... You can't do a, a, a slam while it's charged. Which is a little going to be a little confusing, a little bit hard to get used to, but... We'll, we'll get used to it eventually, do not worry. We'll go to the next floor. I'm just going to pop my, uh, my Pandora's box straight away. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. Really glad we got this trinket as well. Oh, Mom's knife is actually kind of hard to use. But the fact that we can launch it out like that and then move while it's out to like sort of guide it into enemies is kind of nice. I see you there. Good, good, yeah. It's going to take a little bit of getting used to because it's, it's different than what we were get. We, we'd, we'd got used to the normal firing. Now we've got to get used to a whole new firing. The good thing is now we do a lot more damage. So we're going to have a way, way easier time of, um, of taking enemies out when we do stop. So we're not going to have to stop for anywhere near as long, which is perfect. Golden pill here. Not a bad trip, really. Bit of Thanatosis there as well. Like explosive diarrhea. Explosive diarrhea might have been perfect there. Hold up. Nah, it's not. I, I tried my best to guide it into that tinted rock. It would not. Lovely. And then, like I said, the 66% chance of dropping a fire down is pretty amazing. Um, oh, Phantom Pains. I was like, what the hell hurt me there? It's just Phantom Pains. I didn't actually take any damage. A hey, golden key. Don't actually know what those items are. Fate, very, very nice. I don't actually know how flight works here. And then building block. Speed deals fake damage to the player on pickup. Okay. It has uh, removed my head briefly. We don't actually touch the ground anymore and we hippity hop. I like that. Another miserly heart there. Lovely. It does like a little flight flapping sound. I like it. Good attention to detail with that. Um, Nah, I'm okay for that. Thank you. Hippity hop. Hippity hop. There you go. I don't need the hippity hop as, mu as much anymore. Um... I'll leave the token there. Yeah, I don't need the hippity hop as much anymore, but it's still nice to like have it as in my repertoire of abilities to use. Great. De de definitely didn't want a soul heart out of that. Definitely didn't want a soul heart. To be fair, probably a decent idea is just to um, grab another soul of Eden and see if I can find a good place to utilize it. Careful, careful. Oh, beautiful. Um, we got Chaos Card. Chaos Card's pretty good. Um, do I gamble and try and get two items? Yes, I do. Damn it. Damn it. I thought, why not gamble and try and get two items to Soul of Eden? Didn't quite work in my favor, did it? Well, Soul of Eden here. Um, do I want a Soul of Eden again? I think I do, you know. I think I can, I think I can do better. I don't mind paying for them either. I think I can do better than those two. Apple's very good. The speed up's pretty nice. I'll grab the speed up as well. And it means we can grab our Chaos card and take it. That's one of the other reasons I was going for that, because I wanted a, a good reason to take my Chaos card. Slam. <laughs> I'll never get bored of that. Right. Yeah, this, this Curse of Midas item here is uh, quite something. Dude, this, this room's... This room's sketchy. <laughs> There's a lot and a lot of spiders here. 
Star fruit is some HP. Very nice. And we get tears up again. Tears of, uh... Exceeded cap already. Beautiful. Right. We've not been doing great on health, but otherwise things are going really well. Really, really well. The golden pickups thing is, is kind of insane. It's kind of cool because it's like you don't ever get to have any reserve of bombs or keys. But once you do find a bomb or a key on the floor, you then have unlimited for the rest of the floor. But it means to start out on the floor, if one doesn't drop on the floor, you're kind of screwed. It's 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 weird. It's like a, it's it's a kind of small downside because most of the time you are gonna find that bomb or key you need, but it is still a somewhat decent downside. Oh, really? You managed to get away right as I uh? Oh, this is. I couldn't get him. I couldn't get him. I don't have a golden key yet, do I? Okay. Oh, dude, I just got two one makes you larges. I got three, four. You may be thinking, why don't you stop? Never. Oh, dude. This is too many one makes you larges. Where's one makes you smaller? It's got to be coming, right? Okay, we got some good health ups here. How is this golden pill going for this long? This is insane. This is an insane, insane golden pill right now. Dude, there's so many one makes you larges in here. I need a full health pill as well, please. It just keeps going. What is this? It just keeps going. Okay, it's finally gone, but there's three more now, so. Verp. We keep getting verps. I really need some, some one makes you smallers, please. <laughs> no! How do I keep, how have I not seen a single one makes you smaller yet? Well, this, this, this run took a bit of a weird turn. Really? Man, this is, uh... Oh my god, there's, there's, there's enemies here now. That hurt me, okay. Good oh, really another golden pill. You gonna make me do it? This isn't good. I, I there's an enemy in here? I legitimately have absolutely no idea where. Okay, there you go. <clears throat> well this isn't how I thought the run was gonna go. I'm also very, very close to death right now. Get the bombs, thank you. I'm gonna die to a mushroom, aren't I? I, I just, I can't see what I'm looking at, so... <sighs> Why didn't you drop a heart? I'm pretty sure Golden Heart does give us some protection here. I can't even see my, my charge bar. Like, at all. My god. <gasps> thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh, I got an all stats up out of that for some reason. Don't mind if I do. So, I technically, in theory, my slam should do insane damage now that I'm this big, but I don't think that has any bearing on it, to be honest. Secret room. Ow, I... I don't know what I hurt myself on there. It's all very up in the air right now. This is... <laughs> I don't really need more money right now, game, but thank you for offering. 
One makes you larger. Why do you have to exist? Hey, fella. Nah, I'm gonna have to somehow undo this ridiculousness because this is just impossible to watch slash play. Okay, one moment. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I gave myself two Plutos because it's just, I want to be able to actually showcase this character and not being able to see what you're doing seems like a pretty big downside. I'm still pretty large, mind you. I'm not tiny, but I'm not as impossibly large as I was prior. Uh, have we been to the item room yet? I don't think we have, have we? I don't remember the item room on this floor. Getting a lot and a lot of golden uh, chests, which is rather nice. Golden hearts as well is uh, pretty wild. I suppose one thing is that we can't really find normal hearts. All of them are golden hearts, right? What's this? Gain, a, uh, gain stock when the enemies are killed. On use, consumes four stocks and spawns that many spinning side projectiles. Oh, that's kind of interesting. I like the idea behind that. Also, let's just quickly... All oh, right, okay. Let's go. We're hippity hopping in at insane speeds right now. Did we find the boss already? Yes, we did. Oh my god. I can't... I need to remember to stop, and I never remember to stop. And we get speed, which we don't need, and range, which we don't need. Great. Yeah, look, we just can't get regular hearts. So that's kind of one of the big downsides of this character. You're yeah, very much stuck to, to the Midas hearts, to the golden hearts. Regular hearts will not come your way easily. Even batteries, like, there's just so many downsides to this, actually. Other than the immediate. Ah, that's not doesn't work the way I thought it would, but it's good. Right. There you go. Just about made it. So yeah, we need like cards and stuff to heal ourselves. Otherwise, it's not going to heal us. Slam. <laughs> Slam. Beautiful. I suppose the good thing about the slam now as well is with the iframes, I can use it to actually use Mum's knife to deal some damage. Like that look. Kablamma. We get the ducky. I'll take the ducky. We get the squid. Uh, I don't think that does much for us right now. But the scythe seem really, really good. I like it a lot. Right, I think I managed to kill one of those flies while it was invincible there. I'm not quite sure how I managed that. Dude, look at look at this. This is just silly. At least, at least the golden hearts do provide you with some protection. They do give you one additional hit. So it's not like you can't heal at all. Technically, you are somewhat healing. Dude, what's with all the range ups? I don't need range. So it basically just insta-kills a whole room when you do that. We're all, we're all full up on golden hearts now. Don't need any more golden keys. Every 30 seconds, night falls 5 seconds, putting all enemies in the room to sleep. Each night grants damage up to a cap of 20. Um, oh, kinda. That's pretty good. I like it. Fool's Moon. Birthright. Ooh, hello, hello. Tapping shoot will end the current jump early. After landing, Edith will begin sliding in a chosen direction until reaching an obstacle. When sliding is immune to damage and hurts enemies that come in contact, it's really cool and fun. So tapping shoot uh, will end the current jump early. After landing, I'll begin to slide. It's a nuclear throne reference. Oh, okay. So we can, we can end our jump early. And we also have a backwards knife now as well, because we've got the mum transformation. That's kind of good. I like it. So I can do this. With mum's knife while we're invincible. Oh, I didn't even mean to do that. Okay. This is pretty fun. This is pretty fun. You, 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 were, you were right about that. We got ourselves an angel deal here. 
pretty easy one to know which one to grab there. Didn't even mean to do that. I was trying to place a bomb and just destroyed him straight away. Okay. GMO corn, don't let me down. Two one makes you larger. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just... This game, man. This game. Ugh. Is there any other way I can make myself smaller without giving myself another Pluto? Because if I give myself a third Pluto, it gives me Spurred. Watch. I don't want Spurred. Spurred's cheating. I just want to be smaller. I don't know what else makes you smaller. Um... I guess Binky makes you smaller, but Binky gives you stats, right? Let me let me try. Give Binky. Hold up. That gives me a transformation too. Ah. This is <laughs> this is infuriating. One second. Okay, I found a command to change my size. I'm back to be normal, and my character's face looks horrific. But yeah, we, we are we are back to normal now, and let's continue on. I'm really happy we got the birthright here. This is really cool. This is really, really cool. Okay, um... Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna have to change it again. Because apparently it resets each floor, so give me a moment. Okay, this is a bit of a mess about, but we're, we're, we're back. <laughs> we're back. Yeah, I keep forgetting I can use my active here to just instantly kill a room. But yeah, I'm going to be using my slam slide a lot. Because with Mum's knife, it seems real, real good. Thank you. It seems really, really good. Oh, like this this room here, look. Get ready. Boom. We steamroll, baby. And we go back and we do it again. <laughs> On large rooms like this, it can be a little tedious to go back and forth that far. But, like, situations like that, baby. I like it. I like it a lot. As a golden bomb. Realistically, money and hearts are the only thing we're going to get out of these chests that are going to be useful to us. Oh, my God. Didn't see that. Gives a random reward the Pandora's box can give. Ah, interesting. I like it. Oh, there you go. Boss item. And, oh my god, we got two boss items. Okay. Well, two items. This one isn't a boss item. Um, This one I'll definitely take, because that's going to help us with HP. This one I don't need at all, so I guess I'll leave it in case I find a reroll opportunity. We'll see. Boom. And a lot of these miserly hearts, lovely. And I can just ram through rocks as well. Look at that. Apparently not that rock, though. I have to actually bomb that one. It's okay, though. We can do that. We're only getting golden hearts out of it, though. Ah, well, we'll get some, some of those as well. Good old little Dry Baby. Dry Baby could be pretty good for us while we're using a thingy. Dry Baby is... It? Dry Baby's a Super Mario reference. Is that true? Like, I know there's dry burns in there. I, I guess, I guess in a way it is, yeah. Because th the reason it's dry, uh, yeah. I guess so, I guess so. Boom. Oh, really? I steamrolled you and you moved? Are you using the actual jump anymore for, for jumping on enemies is just... It's not our main bag anymore. Now we're all about, all about the, the train that doesn't stop. Unfortunately, we can't, like, wiggle while we're on this train of movement. But this this is beautiful. We're leaving fires behind and stuff. Do you know what would be kind of good with this? Dead Tooth leaving that little poison aura behind as we go. I just love the fact that we're destroying rocks as we go as well. Boom. <laughs> it's so good. Take you out real quick. So we have to stop to fire our knife otherwise. It makes it difficult. We're doing our howls every now and again. I think that's because of our f f full moon. Oh, we got a bit of Herm in there from the poop. This room I can just take out with this. Covers literally the whole room every time. Recharge is pretty quick, so... Pretty goddamn good. Right. You all ready for this, Mum? We all... <laughs> I love that. I love that. 
Probably could have done to explore more of the floor there, but no, we're okay. Right, so, yeah, basically every time I have to mess around my size. If you want to see what I'm doing, by the way, I'm using the... Uh,